Healthy Executives Club. Welcome to the first part of Q&A session. I decided to split this video into two parts so you don't get bored and to be as efficient as possible. First part will have five questions and five answers and second part also. Everything is related to food and nutrition topics. Please let me know in comments do you prefer when I elaborate more and go into details or you like to have explanation at high level without much details. Let's go into Q&A! Oh, yeah, Three people asked the same question. It was common misconception in 80s and 90s. Hypothesis was that cholesterol from eggs directly impacts cholesterol in your blood, LDL. LDL is considered as bad cholesterol because it contributes to fatty buildups in arteries. Fortunately, a lot of studies indicate that cholesterol from eggs is not well absorbed and does not increase plasma total cholesterol concentration. For example, I will post links for two studies that can be found on National Institute for Biotechnology information website. So, the answer is no. Eating eggs will not increase your cholesterol levels. I consume from 25 to 30 eggs per week. Please keep in mind also that it is important how you prepare eggs. If you use sunflower oil, results will change dramatically. Quite popular one. I will not eat after 6 pm or I will skip dinner in order to lose weight. Shocking news. Your body does not know what time is it. You can put pretty much same amount of calories in 12 hours, 16 hours, 8 hours, does not matter. It can be 2, 4 or 6 different meals. On the other hand, what matters? Well, if you have calorie surplus, you will be gaining weight. If you have calorie deficit, you will be losing weight. It is pretty much irrelevant to eat after 4, 6, 8 pm if you track your calories. Another thing besides your total caloric intake that will define your health and looks is will you consume calories from Big Mac and Coke or you will have some healthy choices. Best answer to this one if it fits to your total caloric intake and your macros you are free to eat after 12 pm. Let's hit one right at the beginning. Drinking water does not make you bloated. You should drink enough water and stay hydrated throughout the day. Period. Then the question is... What can make you bloated? Highly processed food. Salty food. Food that you're allergic to. Too much sitting. Lack of water. One more thing to keep in mind. Water retention can be related to heart problems, for example, high blood pressure. Oh, yeah, it Best advice that I can give for food preparation, no matter what are your goals, plan ahead. For example, you have decided to start small improvements in everyday life. You will add green vegetables to every meal in order to improve digestion. Make sure that you are prepared. Do your shopping on time. Prepare salad and put it in a small box in the fridge. That way you can have it ready when the time comes and it will last for a couple of days. This way there is a little room for improvisation and skipping salad when the time comes. Same goes if you plan to add muscle. Prepare your meat in the evening and have it ready for next two days. Oh, yeah, it isn't easy. Your calorie needs depend on your muscle mass, height, gender, age, and activity. Muscle burns more calories than fat, so people with more muscle require higher amount of calories. Because women tend to be smaller and carry less muscle than men, their calorie needs are generally lower. On the other hand, if you have average male and average female individual that have similar lifestyle, for example, they consume a lot of processed carbs like 
sugary drinks, fast food, white bread and so on and so forth. Guidelines for their nutrition will be similar. Insulin sensitivity is also another factor to consider when planning where are your calories come from. For already mentioned individuals, it would be definitely beneficial to check are there any signs of fatty liver or uh, low insulin sensitivity before defining nutrition plan. For example, men generally tend to have higher liver fat content than women. Soon I will be releasing second part with five more questions and five more answers. Once again, let me know in comments do you prefer when I elaborate more or when I keep explanation short and simple without much details. Have a great and healthy day!